Well? Well? Why do we do it? I don't know. So stupid. It's pointless. Still. Ah, yes. This is it. Still gives you something to do with your hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem otherwise. Well, exactly. Mm. You can't beat rattling a good set of keys. <laughs> I prefer a loose change myself. Yeah. You, uh, you don't mind my hand in your pocket playing with your keys? <laughs> no, 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 no. And your money? No, of course not, no. Good. <sighs> Although you may be only weeks away from being wiped out in a nuclear war Your kids might think that basically you stink and totally despise what you stand for You're probably wishing that your heart condition didn't mean that you won't live past 43 You're going blind well, never mind, cause right now it's time for comedy. <laughs> if since your stroke, your sex life is a joke, and your lovers run up with somebody you hate, too bad! It could well be that your redundancy has left you in a suicidal state. You're probably hoping that your son is coping nope. with the brain damage he got from sniffing glue. Forget your piles, let's see some smiles, cause we've got some comedy for you. In a world full of starving millions, <laughs> torture and disease, lung cancer, earthquakes, Genocide with cruelty and hatred and death, yes, death all around. It pays to look on that funny side. <laughs> You're in arrears, in debt up to your ears, but you still need five grand for that kidney machine. Hey, that's right. You've crashed your car been left with a permanent scar your daughter has become a porno queen some thugs attacked you with a knife they hacked you you're a cripple now you can't walk properly pick yourself up you've gone insane but who could complain when we say it's time we say it's time we say it's time for comedy No, shut up, Steve. No, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt, but have you ever thought that no matter what you're doing, something better's always happening elsewhere? <laughs> Ooh, Jessica! Who you miss, Emma? Jessica, this is Emma. Emma, this is Jessica. Jessica and Emma, this is Claudine Connie. Claudine Connie, Emma and Jessica. And I want you all to meet Jane. Jane's on her own tonight, aren't you, Jane? Uh, Jane, this is Emma. Jessica, Claudine Connie. Emma, Jessica, Claudine Connie, this is Jane. Simon, meet Jessica. Jessica, Simon, Julian, meet Emma. Emma, this is Julian. Oh, you already know each other, don't you? You're married. Um, Daniel, Daniel, I want to meet Jane. Jane's on her own tonight. Jane, I want you to marry Daniel. Or Jeremy. And his daughter Stephanie. Stephanie, how are you doing? Uh, Stephanie, Jessica, Jessica, Stephanie, Stephanie, Claudia, Claudia, Stephanie, Aaron, Connie, and Jane. Right. Um, have you all got enough to eat? Spend your food. Help yourself to keys, everyone. Jessica, keys. Keys, Jessica. Oh, have you already met? Help yourself to Jessica. Keys. Plenty of Jessica. Uh, more Vino, anyone? Anyone from more Vino? Vino, this is Emma, Jessica, Claudia, Connie, Simon, Julian, Quiche, Quiche, Vino, Vino, Quiche. Oh, really, really know each other, don't you? Now, has anyone not met French bread and pate? French bread and pate, <laughs> Vino and Quiche, and Emma and Jessica. Jessica's married to the avocado dip. Julian, French bread, and Stephanie, Quiche. This is wonderful. Wonderful, this is marvellous. Marvellous, this is wonderful. Wonderful, marvellous. <laughs> Super terrific and delightful. And, uh, oh, um, going so soon. <laughs> What 
I'm, tr I'm in training. I'm in the... Um, <laughs> I'm in the London Marathon tomorrow, you know. You know, I've watched that video, Chariots of Fire, every night this week. I think I've got it now. Wait, hang on, you're not going <laughs> to... Uh, sorry, Nick, excuse me, uh, you're not going to run like that, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, it just, it'll take you months to finish. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, that's how they run in the film, you see. I, I've noticed that too, Nick, but, but I've worked out how to get round it. Oh, yeah, how? Well, you watch the video and fast forward. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it any good? Oh, no, you go a lot faster, but you lose the sound. All right, well, that's out then. Yeah. Yeah. You shoot a crazy. Ah, they laughed at Morecambe and Wise. Oh, exactly. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen, Clive, what if, um, like, you've mastered, you know, the fast videos. So yeah. What happens if you do the running run and I get on your shoulders and do the sound? Yeah, that, yeah. that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, OK, should we try it? Yeah. yeah. OK, right. Hey, up! Ah. Oh, right. right. Clive, you're slowing down. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, Nick. Is, yeah. it, is that better? Yeah, much. Right. Oh, sorry, you're little John. You're not much. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> what about the next bit? What next bit? Uh, Da, 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 <laughs> is that where it goes? Yeah. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't mastered that bit yet. Oh, yes, I, I, no, oh, I can, I can do that. What? Well, yeah. On the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. No, 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 uh, I'll, I'll push the piano. Right, you push. Steve. <laughs> Steve, right, Steve. You, you play it, yeah. right? Steve plays it, yeah. And, and Nick, you can sit on top of it. Right. Do the oh, right, right. let's try right. it then. Go for it, go for it. Right, okay, right. Are you just really stupid? No, 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 she's right. Look, get down, Nick. All right. Look, our tracksuits don't match. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And now we present our much acclaimed drama serial set in India, The Jewel in the Curry. <laughs> Mildred Layton has found out that her daughter Sarah is pregnant. Sarah has gone to Delhi. Guy has found out that Colonel Merrick is a homosexual. Merrick follows Sarah to Delhi. Aunt Fanny has found out that Guy has gone to Delhi and it is a pregnant homosexual. Mildred <laughs> goes to Delhi. Everybody comes back from Delhi, except for Aunt Fanny who comes back from Calcutta. Pregnant. <laughs> Episode 77, Fenny Peculiar. Uh, you never chose a peg before Tiffin, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah! Oh, I'm sorry, Mother, I was miles away. So peaceful on the veranda. So silent, but for the chirruping of the servants. Um, I, wonder... <laughs> I wonder, darling, if you'd like another gin fizz. Looking out over Pankot in the mountains. The Indian countryside spread beneath us. It's somehow so lovingly photographed. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll have one. Do you? Do you really? Hmm. Just a snifter. Mm. Now where is that boy? Booze, walla. Then sub. Put a bag on a charhe, gin fizz, merry whiskey soda, do lie rum punch, ray more vodka tonic, charles on sajam. What? <laughs> Just give me the bottle. Yes, ma'am, sir. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, fine. You know, Sarah, I don't think Susan's really been happy since Teddy died. Yes. Yes, I think that's true. She was so fond of that toy bear. Anyway, <laughs> I bought her a Sammy the Scorpion pyjama case to make up for it. But she keeps setting it on fire. Doesn't, doesn't that worry you? Oh, not really. It keeps her mind off speed broiling the baby. <laughs> Walla, Sangaki Saka, like bitch Tudor. Beg pardon? I said the bottle's empty. I'm sorry, men, sir. It was full only a second ago. <coughs> um, mother, <laughs> mother, mother, I invited Colonel Merrick round for tiffin. I hope you don't mind. Oh, Colonel Merrick? Uh, he's, he's not one of us. No, mother. Colonel Merrick is a man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yet what I mean is he's a ghastly little grammar school oik. But of course, if you're sweet on him... Mother, I'm not sweet on him. He's a twisted, brutal sadist. Oh. <laughs> well, perhaps he did go to public school after all. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm afraid we're going to have to uh, stop the show there for a moment. Uh, Clive was enjoying it too much. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, though, one of the commissioners has just brought down this basket... It was left 15 minutes ago at the front entrance, and inside is a tiny little baby. A tiny little baby. Look. Oh, it's got wow. feedback. That's, it's good. It's good. Oh. Oh, look, it's yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? 
Uh, now, this tiny little human being, this fragile, gurgling bundle, this baby, <laughs> must be someone's in the audience. It's, uh, it's 21 inches long, hasn't got much hair, no teeth, it looks very healthy, and it can't be more than, what, about five? No, I'd say a bit less than that. Three? Yeah. yeah right. Well, it's, it's only three weeks old, say. So it's as good as new, hardly used, and <laughs> it's tonight's star prize in the In One Ear raffle. And as we said, it must be someone's in the audience because you're the only ones with the lucky ticket numbers. And that is, of course, where you miss out at home, not coming to the studio live you know, at Lower Regent Street, Paris Studios. So obviously it does pay to come and see the show live. OK, so that's the charge you get. So we'll uh, put the baby in the microwave. <laughs> and we'll be raffling both those fabulous prizes later on tonight. So hang on to those tickets. <laughs> Messiah, over here, cure me, master. Touch my eyes so that I may see again. Restore my sight, master. Lay your hands upon my eyes. Keep faith, my child. You have my blessing. You were blind no longer. I can see. I can see. Oh, me too, me too. Don't go, great master. Touch my eyes too so that these cursed scales may fall away. Let me see too. Believe in the Lord, my child. Open your eyes and see. I am cured. He touched my eyes. A medical. A medical. Hey, 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 hey. And me, and me. Me, 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 me. Hey, hero of great divinity, touch my eyes. But you have sight already, my son. Cure me, oh miracle maker. Touch my eyes that I may hear again. <laughs> you have misunderstood, my child. If I am to cure thy deafness, then I must lay my hands upon your ears, not your eyes. Oh, and my broken foot! Touch my eyes that I may walk again. You're not listening. <laughs> if I am to cure your feet, then it is they that I must touch. Is this not plain common sense? But my knees, worldly prophet, cure the pain in my knees, touch my eyes! I cannot touch T your eyes to cure your knees. Why won't you hear my oh, words? Oh, don't turn away from me, don't turn away from me, great seer. Touch my eyes and cure my piles! I can't work bloody miracles! <laughs> if I'm going to cure your piles, I have to... T <laughs> Approach, my child. <laughs> I touch your eyes and your piles are cured. Oh! oh. Uh, what's, what's the matter with you, Steve? I mean, you're looking a bit down in the mouth. Yeah, I must stop sucking that duvet. <laughs> uh, no, actually, what I meant was, you're, you know, you're looking really... De <laughs> you're looking really depressed tonight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I am. You know, I wrote a couple of new songs. You know, one in particular. Of, yeah, uh, one, one in particular. particular the other way, and, uh, one song. It was the mm. best one that I've ever done. Really? You know, this song. Well, I mean, it's got everything. You know, superb lyrics, beautiful melody. It's emotional. It's catchy. You know. So, so why are you depressed? No one will touch it. You know, mm. I can't sell the damn thing. My finest work. Nobody wants it. That's terrible. Look, I, I don't suppose it will make any difference, but uh, you know, I'd like to hear it. But yeah? yeah, you mean yeah. it? Yeah, of, co um, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so all the major record companies in the music business have rejected it so, so you're not going to get a record deal out of it So the best song you've ever written isn't ever going to be heard by anybody Who cares? You know? oh, well, I'll go ahead, yeah, thanks okay. Great. Yeah. I thought the love we had could not go wrong That's a nice opening it's nice to... <laughs> Oh, but that was just before she went away Oh, emotional, it's powerful stuff this so if you see her, tell her that my love's still burning strong. Burning strong. Yeah, it's a lovely tune. Won't you tell her if you see Kay? Huh? What's that? Yes, if you see Kay, uh, Steve, Steve. Uh, tell her I miss her. Sorry, Steve. Yes, if you see Kay, Steve, Steve. tell her I want her. Yes, if you Steve. see Kay, Steve. Steve. I um, I, uh, I think, I think I know, um, I think I know why nobody would take the song, actually. Why's that? Why? Why? Well, it's, uh, how, how can I, uh, put this? It's, um, it's too Cliff Richard. <laughs> sod it. Oh, no, that's better. Oh, sod it. You can think, I mean, that's right. Oh, sod it. And now, Jewel in the Curry. 
Mildred has found out that her daughter Sarah is pregnant. Sarah has gone. Hang on, that was last week. Uh, I think I must have missed an episode. Uh, here we go. Episode 78. Who's Walla? Look, I still don't know what you're on about. Give me another bottle of vodka. No can do, men stop. It's the vodka wallers day off. Never mind. Give me that bucket of paint stripper. Very well. <laughs> huh. British imperialists. Talking Russian all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> They come to our country, forcing us to be their servants. I'm a serious actor. Why can't I play? Why can't I play Hari Kumar or the Nawab of Mayapur? I'll tell you why, because I cast all the big parts in England. Accent, Walla! <laughs> it's a right stitch-up. Look, do you want to be an out-of-work actor, Walla? No. Well, shut up! OK, I'm going back to work. Uh, that sounds like Colonel Merrick now. Remember, Mother, don't draw attention to his mechanical arm. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to. You know, something good might come out of all this controversy about the Olympic Games. I mean, wouldn't it be great if the Soviet Union said that they boycott a thermonuclear war on the grounds that their security couldn't be guaranteed? <laughs> I meant to say, sorry, I got that confused because it's a really difficult word <laughs> for a trick. Um, dear Mr. Gaddafi, you know, you know about that. Okay. I'm writing to you as a fellow revolutionary. I don't suppose you've heard of the POSA, GOS, LFOP yet, but it stands for the pupils of our school against the governors of our school Liberation Front Organisation Party. <laughs> And I'm the leader, because I thought up the name. <laughs> we're fighting against a system which makes us play netball in the freezing cold with bare legs, which is an infringement of our basic rights as people, who would rather sit on the radiators in the cloakroom room and play hangman. <laughs> but as you know what hangman is, I expect you play something like it in Libya. <laughs> See, what, what one person thinks of a word, and if the others haven't heard of it, they get hung. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> up a pupils bureau in the dorm and I'm thinking of applying for diplomatic immunity. Where do I get it from and how much does it cost? <laughs> Daddy says it means you can get away with murder which would suit me because I wouldn't half mind getting rid of our geography teacher Miss Skinner. <laughs> Could you do it for me? Of course she's fascist and all the fat. <laughs> My friend Sarah says she's probably a lesbian too. My mommy says that's not the same as a lesbian so I don't suppose you're bothered. <laughs> Anyway, I must go now, I'll be late for detention. Yours revoltingly, H.L. P.S. Is your first name really, Colonel? <laughs> and now the jewel in the curry. Um, there's this chap with one arm called Merrill or something, and uh, he's the baddie, right? And, uh, well, uh, he goes around beating up Indians, uh, I think. Episode 79. Oh! No, thank you. Now, remember what I said about Colonel Merrick's mechanical arm? Uh, I'm not supposed to mention it, even if he is a low-born gutter snipe. Oh, Colonel Merrick! Do you need a hand? <laughs> Mother! Hello there. You must be Mrs. Layton. Enchanted to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Handshake, Walla! <laughs> dot, 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 dot. First Gandhi, then the far pav now far the far pavilions. Now this. Yes, Mim Saab. Shake hands with the oik. <laughs> How do you do, Colonel? <laughs> well, Colonel, you must be in need of lubric uh, a drink. <laughs> Misbehaving, saving all my love for you. Thank you, Fat Swallow. Now, <laughs> for... now fetch the booze, Swallow. Ronald, I hope you don't mind. 
me saying, but you're wrong. What about it? It's a rusty bicycle. I know. <laughs> I woke up this morning to find it welded to my stump. Is it, is it very uncomfortable? <laughs> Only when the kids in town do wheelies on my shoulder. <laughs> Why? Who would steal your real arm? A man with a grudge. A man they call Pandit Bhaji. Pandit Bhaji? Yes. I suppose that now he's got your arm, they'll call him the one-armed pandit. <laughs> Sorry I shot your mother, but she was getting on my tits. Oh, look, Ronald, that's all right. Corpse Waller. OK, 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 OK. Thank you, thank you, Corpse Waller. Thank you. <laughs> now we're alone, I want to tell you something, Sarah. Something Teddy said before he died. Yes, yes, go on. He was interrogating a muzzy guide who deserted from his regiment, and he said to him, I am your mother and your father. I see. Your uncle and your aunt. Oh. Your nephew, your niece, your godson, your second cousin twice removed, your stepdaughter, <laughs> your ex-wife, your child from another marriage, your adopted grandfather, but most of all, your idiot brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, now I understand. It all fits. I do, I do. It all fits together. The reason we're here. You, me, mother, Aunt Fenny, Barbie Bachelor, Spoons, the jewel in the curry, Harry Kumar, the butterflies caught in the web, Daphne Manners, Henry Kelly. No, not Henry Kelly. <laughs> the burning shed, the scorpion. You know, Sarah, you're really very boring. <laughs> Who cares? All the men in the series are after me. Mm, not that. And I'll tell you another funny thing about this series. What's that? The way each episode ends when you're not expect. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you ever thought how socially irresponsible some architects are? Have you realised that St Paul's Cathedral partially obscures the Nat West Tower? <laughs> <laughs> you loved me, girl, or so you used to say. You told me you'd stay with me, come what may. So tell me why then did you go away, ah, oh, girl? Why did you leave me? <laughs> Didn't I always try to treat you right? Didn't I always kiss and hold you tight? Didn't I help you make it through the night? Oh, girl, why did you leave me? When I think of the love that we shared, when I think of the way that you cared, when I think of the life that we had planned, girl, I just don't understand. <laughs> I guess I'll never know the reason why You're gonna leave me here alone to cry Before you go, just one last this goodbye Oh, girl, why did you leave me? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. They're a funny lot, aren't they? They're a funny lot, aren't they? Comedians, eh? Funny lot, aren't they? Not as funny as my material, I hope, because it's the only material I've got, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> you got to have good material, talking about good material. Do you like this suit, eh? Do you like this suit? I got it from a birthday, birthday suit. I love birthdays, don't you? Love birthdays, can't stand the parties. Talking to parties, what about the Labour Party, eh? What about Labour, eh? Hey, <laughs> what about Labour? My wife's expecting, you know, she's expecting me home for tea. <laughs> so, so I was on the tea, right? I was on the tea out there with my driver. I got out my driver. What about women drivers, eh? I was buying this mini the other day, talking to minis. Fashion's a funny thing, isn't it? Changes like the wind. Wind, wind, indigestion, indigestion. My mother in law, I tell you. Talking about mother in law. Stand up comedians are a funny lot, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Funny, very odd. Have you noticed the way like they uh, they jump from one thing to another, right? Talking of jumping, I must hop, hop and skip, skip and jump. Hang on, I'm back to jumping. I'm meant to be on to uh, leaving because yeah, I'm running out of time. Running out of time, you see? I should have left. I should have left, right? Left, right, left, right, left, right. We're back to parties again. <laughs> anyway, okay, what about labour, eh? My wife's expecting me home for tea. She'll be lucky. I was lucky. I was lucky the other day. I won 25 quid on the horses. Talking of horses, have you ever noticed how comics change horses? They're a funny lot, aren't they, comedians? The way they jump from one bit of material to the next. Talking about material, what about this suit? I got it from a T. T, golf tea, golf tea, golf tea, TBW, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, well. 
Well, this being, um, this being a live programme, we thought we'd take advantage of being able to do what no other show at this time of night can do. We're going to have a look at tomorrow's papers. Now, I know there are live shows on telly which could do this, and do, uh, but we, th we thought we'd rip the idea off. Uh, and why not? <laughs> so we've had all tomorrow's papers delivered to us from Fleet Street to the Paris studios. So uh, now let's just have a look through and see what the major news is. Let's see what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, uh, this is in uh, quite a few of the papers. Yes, sir. Uh, unemployment. Yeah. It seems there's quite a few people, apparently, who, uh, who haven't got jobs nowadays. Oh. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, hang on. Sunday Express is very interesting. Look, reading between the lines, was this Margaret Thatcher still Prime Minister? Oh, yes. Yeah, she was Prime Minister last week, wasn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. 3-2, 4-0, 1-0. God. 6-3, 1-2, 0-0. Yeah. Well, according to the Sunday Mirror, there were several football matches played yesterday. Yeah. Uh, today. Oh, they've got it wrong. Right? Oh, yeah, I must have... Anyway, look, here, this. This is the big one. It's covered exclusively by the Observer and the Sunday Telegraph. <laughs> uh, copper bottomed saucepans. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Now it appears you can buy a set for only £15.99. Oh, that's <laughs> quite cheap. Yeah, yeah. look, there's a picture as, a picture as well. I don't know how they got that. Yeah, I'm really admire those photographers. Yeah. Mm. Any major scoops? Uh, oh, mm. yeah, oh, yes. There's, uh, there's this talking dog. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Uh, Fred Bassett. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think he's talking. He could just be thinking. Well, it certainly sounds you know, really exciting and very strange. Yeah, yeah, yes. He's, he's got a new lead. Is he? Yeah, yes. God. And uh, the next door cat's just drunk his bowl of water. <gasps> That's terrible. I'm surprised the other papers haven't got hold of that one. Yeah, well, well, anyway, that would seem to be it. Uh, tomorrow's news. I just hope we haven't spoiled your Sunday for you by leaking all the top stories. <laughs> Wonderful. Have you met In One Air? In One Air, wonderful. Wonderful to Steve Brown, Helen Ledford, Clive Mantle and Nick Wilton. Steve did music. <laughs> music Steve, Steve Music, Music Lighters. Arnold Brown, John Doherty, James Henry, My Hunter, Helen Ryan, Vicky Powell, Roger Plainer, Roger Plainer, Roger, sorry, Roger, Nick Wilton. Oh, where's Jamie? Jamie X producer. Oh, he's gone. I love radio because it really broadens your mind, makes you use your imagination. How? What do you mean? I mean, you have to use your imagination. Oh, imagination? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, you get it. Suits me. You can hear in one ear at the same time next week.